All right, today I'm going to teach you how to solve this kind of trigonometry questions. All right, so the question asks you to solve 6 sin x equals to second x. Okay, because sin x and second x doesn't have square here, so there's no formula you can apply into this equation. So what you need to do is, you can change the second x. You just see the third letter, 1, 2, 3. The third letter is c, isn't it? It means 1 over cos x. So I will change this one into 1 over cos x. And then what I will do next is I will move the cos x to the other side. I will get 6 sin x cos x equals to 1. Alright, when you see the equation like this, it's a little bit tricky if you do not know what is a double angle for sine. Because we know a formula for double angle for sine, isn't it? We know basically sine 2x will equal to 2 sine x cos x. So if you know about this formula, do you see 2 sine x and cos x, sine x and cos x? But the problem right now is, this is 6, this is not 2. So what I want to do is, I'm going to factorize out the 6 here. So I'm going to change this one into 3 multiply 2. Then you will see 2 sine x cos x, isn't it? Or you can just divide 3 for both sides. It's the same thing. Alright, then this one is basically, I move my 3 to the other side, I get 1 over 3 here. And then this is 2 sine x cos x will equal to sine 2x. Then I change this one into sine 2x. Right, and right now, I need to move my sine to the other side to find out all the angle here. So I will do inverse sine 1 over 3. Alright, over here, you, you need to guess how many answers you will need to find. Because normally, a student will think it's only two answers. But in this case, you will have four answers. I will explain why. Because this range given here is between 0 to 360 for x only. But right now, your angle is 2x. So what I want to do right now is, I will need to multiply for every single one. 0 multiplied 2 is 0. This one will get, give me 2x. And then this one will give me 720. If you know about 720, you know it need to rotate two rounds here. So therefore, you will need to have four, four answers. This one, if you type in the calculator, calculator will tell you is 19.47. And then, you need to know which quadrant sign will get positive. The add sugar to coffee basically tell you sign will get positive at the second quadrant, which is 180 minus theta. So 180 minus this one, you will get 160.53. Right, and then what is the next two angle is plus 360 for both of these. This one will give 379.47. And then this one will give you uh, 520.53. And then what you need to do last to find the x is, all the four answers here, you will just divide two, and then you will get nicely four different answers here. Alright, this is how to do this kind of trigonometry questions.